Hey guys, a little while back I mentioned making a tutorial on how I use my Xbox One controller to control Psy while I'm drawing. And I do that um, by using a program called Xpatter, and it's free! You just gotta go to xpatter.com and download the application. And when you do that and open it, it should look like this. And right now it's looking for a controller. So I'll turn my Xbox controller on, and it will detect it here. And once it's detected, you click this and press new, and we're basically gonna register all of our buttons. Um, but first, uh, this little optional part I like to do just for the sake of looking nice and being organized. You can have like a little layout here. You can find layouts of the controllers uh, that XPatter supports on, on their forums. But next we're going to uh, turn our little sticks here on and we're going to map them by following the prompt, clicking left and up. And so that goes there. Going to turn on our D-pad and follow the prompt up, down, left and right. And I'll move that right there. Next is buttons. And I like to use the button closest to my thumb here for saving, so I'll map that one there. As well as my right, or sorry, left bumper. And then the triggers. So I only use the left one, but it makes you also register the right one. But we don't have to combine that to any keys. So once this is all uh, mapped out, we're going to press OK. And you'll see that we have a lot to work with here. So you're going to want to know your shortcut keys for this part. Uh, so whatever art program you're using, I use Psy, so I'm going to be using the shortcut keys for that. If you click the button that you want to uh, bind, it will bring up this little keyboard. And then you just press, backspace is my redo button in Psy. And my, uh, I bind that to the, the left bumper. And then here is going to be my undo key. So I'm going to control Z there. And this is probably my favorite part, the, uh, the joystick. So pressing up on the joystick, I bind that to page up, and that will zoom in my canvas. Down is page down for zooming out. Left, I like to use the um, minus key to toggle transparency of the brush that I'm currently using. And H for flipping the canvas horizontally. The D-pad I just used to move the canvas around, and that's pretty straightforward. Up, down, left, right, etc. And then this one, a very important one, is what I use to save my canvas so that I don't have to think about it too much. So we'll do Control S there. So once this is all uh, laid out and you have your button mapped, you're going to want to save this. And I just like to name it Side Controller. You can just type that in there. Each one. I'm going to overwrite that. Side Controller, we're going to save that as. Right. Okay, so basically we have it all ready to go. So I'll minimize this. You can actually even close it. And once we get back into Psy, without um, using my keyboard or moving my mouse up to the undo, we can undo. You see, I squashed this boy. <laughs> and I can flip my canvas and zoom in here. Say I want to give him a mouth, but I don't like that mouth, so we can just press the uh, left trigger and it'll go away, or the left bumper and it'll come back. So yeah, that's how you do it. Hopefully this is um, helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be happy to help out.